we need to go over the graphing of inequalities. So the first thing that I want to go over right here is how do we graph according to each one of our inequality symbols. The first inequality that I'm going to have right here is going to be y greater than in whatever you have on the other side. Every time you know that y will be greater than your mx plus b on the other side, what you know that you have to do first is the line that you graph will be a dotted line. And since y is greater, you are going to shade the top part from that line. Now, the second inequality that we, ha we have, what if y is less than your mx plus b? So again, in this case, since you know, y is less, again, you're going to use a dotted line. And you are going to shade, since y is less, the bottom piece of the graph. Now we have y is greater or equal. So it is very similar to the first case that we see when y is greater. It's only that now your line is going to be a solid line. And again, since y is greater, you are going to shade the top part of your line or your graph. At last we have y less or equal, which obviously is going to be very similar to less just that now instead of having a dotted line now we're going to have a solid line and we are going to shade since y is less the bottom part of your graph so after we do that I have this example right here y is less or equal than negative 3 over 4x plus 3 so again what is my slope negative 3 over 4 what is my starting point 3? So I'm going to start my starting point 3. 1, 2, 3. We always start in the y-axis. That's my starting point. And now I follow the movement, the slope, negative 3 over 4. Meaning that I'm going to go down 3 units. 1, 2, 3. And then 4 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'm here. And I can keep doing this. Again, my rise is negative 3, so I go down 3, 1, 2, 3. And my run is 4, so I move 4 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. After that, the only thing that you have to do is connect these dots. In this case, since we have the option of being equal, we are going to connect them using a solid line. So I'm going to put my solid line as straight as possible. Okay, don't forget to put your arrows because this line keeps going. And since y is less, we are going to shade the under the line or the bottom piece of your graph. Meaning that any point in this shaded area or in the solid line will be a solution for your inequality y less or equal than negative 3 over 4x plus 3.